we are going to end this unit with intersecting lines and inequalities. Uh, lines, we are just looking for a specific point, and inequalities, we're looking for a specific shaded region, typically where it is uh, double shaded. So I have y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 3, and I can already see I made a mistake, and y equals 1 third x minus 3. So I'm going to graph these, and I may change the colors. So I have, I'm going to start with positive 3. I'm going to do one line at a time. I find people tend to get confused when they do the y-intercepts and then the slopes. Um, so this is telling me to go down 5 and write 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3. And we'll connect that line. And y equals 1 third x minus 3. Yeah, let's use a separate color here. Let's use red, and I'm going to go down to negative 3, and my slope is telling me to go up 1 to the right 3. So I've already found the intersection, um, but I still am going to finish out drawing the lines. So the point of intersection is where they cross, and in this case, it is the coordinate 3, comma, negative 2. So this tells me if I plug in 3, negative 2, to both equations, I will have a true statement. And what I mean is the top equation will be correct and the bottom equation will be correct. So just to show that off, I have negative 2 equals negative 5 thirds times 3 plus 3. And negative 2 equals 1 third times 3 uh, minus 3. So when I do this, I get negative 2 equals negative 5 thirds times 3 is negative 5 plus 3. And negative 5 equals negative 5, or sorry, negative 2 equals negative 5 plus 3, and this is in fact negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2, and that works. So this is how I check my work to make sure my uh, coordinate is correct. And 1 third times 3 is 1. And I know that 1 minus 3 is negative 2 and it works in the bottom equation. Now taking a look at inequalities. In this case, there's going to be a lot of shading going on, uh, but we can still keep track of our work. So again, I'm going to use two different colors. We'll use red and blue. So this will be my red line. And let's graph it. So it is a positive 2 for my y-intercept, and my slope is 1 half, so up 1, right 2, up 1, right 2, down 1, left 2, and this is going to be a dashed line because it is strictly less than. And let's go with my blue line. Y is less than or equal to, so this is going to be a solid line, negative 3. And my negative 2 over 1 tells me go down 2 to the right 1, or up 2, left 1, up 2, left 1. Hey, look, they intersect again. And this is a solid line. Now here's where the tricky part begins. I have to figure out where to shade for both lines. So I'm going to start with this bottom one. So again, I'm going to test the point 0, 0. 0 is less than negative 2 times 0 is 0, minus 3. Is 0 less than negative 3? Oops. The answer is no. So if 0, 0 is here, I'm going to be shading this side of the line. I'm going to draw these little arrows to help figure out what side I'm going to shade without having to do all of that extra work. The other option is if you have different colors, you can actually shade that side with that color. Uh, typically people only have a pencil though, and, or a pen, and they don't have this option. So now I'm going to test the 0, 0 because it's not part of my red line. 0 is less than 0 plus 2. Is 0 less than 2? Yes it is. So that means I'm going to be shading this side of my line. Well now if I was just using the arrows, I would look where do the arrows kind of point to the same area. And I can see that it is this region down here. So again, I'm going to use my uh, different colors and shade below my line where 0, 0 was. And we can quickly see that this area here is shaded with both red and blue. If I were to graph this 
uh, with only one color pencil or with one only one color, I would only be shading this region down here because this is the only region that would have both colors in it. That's going to do it for graphing uh, inequalities and intersecting lines.